Oh, today we're just going to quickly go through uh, assembly mate process. Uh, I've got some examples here of some of the drawings. So I've got this one here, the um, completed assembly, and this one here is the exploded view. So just get rid of these. That way. So to start any mate assembly mate process, we need to do it in a assembly. Start new assembly. Uh, I've got our components here, all the different parts that we're going to use in our little library. Got the um, uh, location of it. This one's called Lego Car, and all our individual parts are in here. So start first of all, I'm going to use this base plate. Bring that in. That becomes fixed in the first part. Can't move it around. I can if I want to, just by clicking on float. But I don't really want to do that. The moment so I'm going to start bringing in our chassis components and I'm going to need two of those in this case I'm going to right hand mouse click and turn them roughly in the right position to start mating I can use a little paper clip here or a paper clip up here doesn't really matter see it notice here it's already highlighted blue it's saying do you want to mate that no, I don't. I want to mate, in this case, this face, this face, this face, and this face to this face. Last little thing that I want to do is give it a, a location. So I need to use this side here, that face, to that face. And that's that one done there. Now, same thing with this one, mate, face, face to face. I'm going to go this face here to touch that side. Last component. I want to wait. We go face to face, but just for fun, I'm going to go edge to edge. See over here, edge to edge. So that's completely mated. Now, if I have a look at all the mates that I've just done there, I could delete them if I had a problem, or I highlight them and it shows me what they're actually referring to. So I'll just bring it up, my project around again so you can see. So I just press the space bar there to get my little dialog box coming up. Now I'm going to start bringing in the wheels. So I've got a wheel in here that's been already assembled. So I'll get three of those in. That side, set component. And on top of that, I'll bring in the wheel that hasn't been assembled, just so you can see how we go about doing it. So we've got that component there, so the component, and this one here, component wheel. So we can identify different ways of uh, attaching circles. One way is to just go concentric circle, so make that circle to this circle. In this case, it's around the wrong way. So I need to rotate that around, restart the mate. So that circle to that circle, click, and now it's the right way. And I also need to go tell it where to stop. So that face to that face. Same thing with this one, circle to circle, concentric, right over here where it says concentric. This face to this face. Um, uh, and for the remaining one, I can also use this function of axes. So if I just close off the mate, if I go view, show, hide, axes, temporary axes, 
show you Hebrew axes, you can see them appear here as blue. So I can make axis the axis. Particularly useful if you've got circles that are different sizes. In this case it doesn't really apply. Weight, face, face. Uh, but this one here is useful aligning these two uh, concentrically. Make face to face. So you see how they line up with each axis. Um, doesn't really matter, I can turn this around. So I go face to face. Right hand mouse click, turn around. Axis to axis. So that's in line. Now I go face to face. So that's our base model completed with the wheels on it. Now the next component I'm going to have to do close that window, is a little sloped brick, turn it around the right way. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to turn off these temporary axes now, because they're not necessary. Uh, I'm also going to put in this block, and I'm going to insert the steering wheel as well. So then my remaining three components, okay, right hand uh, click on the surface, mate face to face. If that was round the wrong way, for whatever reason, if I come down here, um, I can change the position of the mate, a little dialog box. So if I decided that I wanted this face mating to this face and it occurred the wrong way, I can click this little button here and it will flip it around the other way, but obviously I don't need to do that. So face to face, and so they're aligned now, so now I'm just going to go edge to edge, done. Just grab a hold of it, check that it's all nicely mated in there. This one here, let's go edge to edge. and edge to edge. So sometimes using edge is a little bit quicker because you don't have to um, use a face and they do pretty much the same thing that you're um, asking it to do. So in this case here I could go edge to edge. Uh, and as you can see that it's around the wrong way so this is where I can employ that little spin around key. So that's on the right edge at the moment. Okay, so there's an error there, so I'll just check that that mate isn't on there, so there's no mates associated with that because of my mistake, so I'll start that again. Mate edge to edge. So let's flip it around the right way. Correct. Tick. So now I've got edge to edge. And I'm going to go face to face. Now I need to go edge to edge. That there is completed. Now we just need to double check that all our mates are correct. So if I look down the list there, you can see the ones that I've included that are concentric and the ones that aren't. Uh, if I go to isometric view, you can see the completed vehicle. If I were to need to remove any of the mates, I simply click on it and click delete.